Hey folks, it's Dana here from Lumber Jill Garden. And today I'm gonna to be talking about what to do with all of these beautiful milkweed plants that we have planted either in these jars using germination or in our milk jug greenhouses using the winter stratification technique. Both of those techniques are available on my uh, channel, which you can subscribe to, or you know, just click my channel's link and take a look at what we have, and you can see how this is done. Uh, this particular jug was started in the middle of January, and it is mid-March now, so two months later, and look at all those really healthy milkweed shoots. Those are common milkweed. And these were started, these ones in particular, were started in February using the germination technique where you clip the seeds, put them in water for a day, and then just put them in a sunny sunroom like this and allow them to grow. So I have a lot of friends who are getting shoots like this, beautiful milkweed, and they're saying, what do I do next? What do I do now? And really, um, you can leave these milkweed for another month or so, maybe a month and a half, let them get really healthy. That's what I'm gonna do for the most part. Um, I would just leave them right in the jar that it's in, make sure that the soil stays appropriately moist and let them grow these beautiful roots. So you can see in here, we're starting to have all sorts of roots growing in the jar. And the reason why that's important is because even when I transplant these, if I have a healthy root system on these beautiful milkweed, they'll actually um, kind of go into a dormancy and then they will grow back from that healthy root that you planted. And so I'm gonna let these develop as much as I can before transplanting them, especially if you're thinking about transplanting them outside. Now, if you are not thinking about transplanting them outside, if you wanna do something like take some of these and give them to friends, or maybe you're gonna sell them or all sorts of different ideas you could have with them. If you wanna to start to individualize them, what I do is I get these cups. So this is just one of those um, seed starting cups that you can get at your hardware store. And I fill it with uh, some soil. So this is just seed starting soil that I've put in there with about two tablespoons of water. And you can also get like Dixie cups or paper cups and do this. So. Um, don't worry about what you're putting it in. It's just a container that you can give away and put soil in. And all I do is I find a little plant that's ready. So here we are, there's a whole bunch. And I might take, there's, they're kind of clumped in there and that's okay. I kind of just take my fingers whoop, and I'll just pinch it out of the soil. See, kind of pinching them up. Well, they're gonna have some nice roots already, so you wanna make sure you get all that. Show you what I mean here. See how I got all of the root? None of it was broken off, so I gently pulled it out, and this is a very wet container. Um, I did put dra drain holes in them eventually, but it's still very wet. So I have this clump of three milkweed, beautiful root systems. Here they are. I'm gonna take the container and sort of make a hole for it it's kind of messy business, but I just push it right into the soil. Let me get this one started. I can show you guys better. Okay, so they're in there. See how they're loosely in there? I'm gonna take their base, right where the, the they start to have roots, and I'll just push them in like this. Don't worry too much about the leaves. They're important. But remember, the root is what is important, so trying to keep that intact is very important pushing it further and further in there. You see that? And then sometimes I'll even cover up some of the stalk or because that um, that helps make it stronger. I'll just kind of press them in there so they have really good contact with that soil. And see how those are nice and sturdy in there now? I can wave them around and they stay upright. See that? Yeah. Just pressed them in there. There's nothing fancy about it. You're just kind of pulling it out, making sure you get the whole root, and then putting them in. Make sure you cover up all of the root, but also I cover up some of the stalk so that it's very sturdy. 
Then I will just find a sunny spot for these and put them out just like we did with the, um, the germination containers. I will keep them inside now because they don't have this beautiful greenhouse to protect them. So I'll keep these inside. Uh, they don't need to be under grow lights. They don't really require that. They can just go um, anywhere near a window. And I'll let these grow some more until they're ready to go in the ground or the ground is ready for them. Let's put it that way. So the ground will be ready for them um, when you're planting. I, I, I wait until I'm planting my tomatoes or my summer hardy things, even though these are cold hardy plants, they just don't compete well. So I like to give them their best shot at living and the best shot means that they've really developed um, a nice, uh, you know, leafy stalk, but mostly those really strong roots. So that's what I would recommend you do if you're ready to transplant these. Just transplant them into little cups and give them some more time to establish those roots that are so important. And then when it's time, you put them outside and I'll show you where I'm gonna put some of these um, once the spring comes here in East Tennessee. All right, friends, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. I love answering comment questions <laughs> or other tips. That would be great too. Um, otherwise, if you really are interested in germination, um, Brad over at Grow Milkweed Plants, he's the one who came up with this fantastic method, and I really recommend you reaching out to him. He is wonderful. So thanks so much for listening today. I hope your milkweed planning is going fabulously, and what's good for the monarch is good for all of us. Bye, friends.